Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Clay back again with some more GBO2. And today we're going to be talking about the Cubely and how the meta has developed since everybody was complaining about the Hummer Bee. Remember that? Remember that guys? Everybody was like, ah, that's the Hummer Bee. The, the, the double B rifles and transformation mode and the mobile arm mode and OP, they just melt the supports like it's not even fair. And then, then they bring out the double Zeta, like double Zeta can hang, double Zeta can destroy the Hummer B. I mean, the Hummer B still could, still could do like, you know what I mean, he still could do what, right? The Hummer B can still do what now? But it's a lot harder for it. Well, the Cubely is about. Okay? So if you have the Cubely that literally can easily shoot the thing out of the sky with the funnels. Right? So it's starting to get slightly hard for the raids to deal with. But that's why we have the Hama Hama. The Hama Hama actually can deal with Cubely. Like the Cubely is a massive target. If like, like if you if you missing the Cubely with the Hammer Hammer's sheet beam uh, park cannon, bro. Like you, you need to you need to start practicing, bro, because it's so easy to hit the Cubely, man. Like it really is. Uh, so we're actually having. A rock paper scissors, right? We, we actually getting the rock paper scissors thing going on, man. Because if we didn't, like, it'll literally be the generals just destroying everything. Like, it'll be like I said, and I can't remember what video it was, but I was saying rock, uh, you know, rock paper scissors, rock beats scissors, paper beats rock, scissors beats paper. But in this game, like if the analogy was the generals were the rock and the rock was just beating everything. It was beating paper and scissors, you know. But now this is we we're lacking on the paper. The the supports. We're lacking on the paper. The scissors are fine. Like the scissors are fine. The raids, they're perfectly fine. Like I don't feel like they have been outshined even though it's harder it's harder to like move around while the Cubely is shooting you know like I mean we've got the, the Zeta A1 and now I'm doing look at that juicy double stun with the rear funnels but um, I'm doing good with the A1 versus Cubely is about you know so the Hummer B wouldn't be far off behind it, you know. There's this view. Like it probably is harder for the Hummer B because it's got it's a charging beam rifle, right? Charging beam rifle versus the Cubely is kinda rough. You know, that is rough. Think just think about it. This can be honest and not be like fav do favoritism because I'm like I don't I'm not biased when it comes to stuff like this. I'm not biased at all. Like, like I said, like this suit is is uh, is better than the Zeta Gundam, and because of the funnels, like it's obnoxious to deal with, and it can always like hit you, sort of thing, you know. The Zeta Gundam actually has to fight you normally, but if it hit, if it gets you, and it gets you in a combo, you're gonna get wrecked. Right, the Cubely, if it locks onto you, your funnels, it's locked onto you like behind cover, so it can hit you behind cover and like just apply obnoxious pressure onto you. Like, the Zeta can't do that, you know what I mean? So, the Cubely is slightly stronger, and because of those, that reason, you're gonna. You're gonna feel more cubely than you're gonna feel Zeta in a fight. That, that's that's just how it really is. It's just because of the funnels. You just always gonna get hit by the funnels. If they get a lock onto you, you always gonna get hit by it, regardless, right? 
Zaya's more traditional fighter. Like, you have to actually, you know, aim and fight properly. Like, fight properly, fight normally. <laughs> so I see. Like, the Kubli. The Kubli does require some skill. It's a big target, but it's not much skill as the Zaya Gundam. Like, even though both, both the suits don't really require much skill it's literally once you get used to them like they're both as bad as each other but in different categories but like I said you're gonna feel the range from the cube lead more than you're gonna feel close quarters combat with the Zaya because they obviously have to get in close the cube lead doesn't need to do that this is why the cube lead has the edge like range suits that can keep applying pressure like this like always have the edge over close quarters close quarters are getting in close and using your melee is harder than shooting and shooting funnels like, like, like it's, it's that real so that yeah, Kubli is better my second child is actually better than my first child um, but the Hamrubi is the counter to Kubli and the Zeta Gundam. Like it is. If you think it isn't, then get better with the Hamahama and then then you will tell me okay like it can actually fight the Kubli pretty pretty wickedly, you know, like it's not it's not no slouch when it comes to fighting the Kubli. You know? Double counter, like get out of my face, new type shenanigans. <laughs> but yeah, if you're not like like a really good player with the Kubli, the Kubli gets trashed on, bro, by any kind of suit. This is it's the same with any suit, you know. But like, I'm obviously talking about top tier gameplay, right? At the at the top of the top, right? The Hama Hama destroys Kubli's because Kubli's is a big target, easy to hit with the shield. Like it's easy to hit. You can't tell me it isn't. If it isn't easy to hit for you, you need to work on your shooting with the Hama Hama. Um, yeah, and like obviously, it. Hamahama destroys Zeta, double Zeta, like that's why we need like suits like Armor B, the Zeta Plus. Like the Zeta Plus is slightly better than Hammer B because it's more consistent. It's just like how Zeta Gundam is better than Double Zeta because Double Zeta has a charge and beam rifle. You know, it's literally the same thing. It, li it literally boils down to that, and obviously, so the uh, Zeta Plus actually has better follow-up damage than the Hummer B because Hummer B has to transform to get its follow-up damage, and the Zeta Plus doesn't have to do that. You know, it can shoot its waste cannons. And then actually transform and then shoot some more of this waste cannons and transformation. So it can the the Zeta Plus can keep applying this damage. Well while the the Hummer B can't really do that. It can in a way, but it can't. And obviously the Hummer B relies on its close range combat more so in my opinion. But yeah, that was the game, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless.